Hello, today is October 2nd. I, this is the show where I will tell you what today's holiday is because every day is a holiday. So, what is today, you ask? Well, I already said it, October 2nd. What holiday is it? International Day of Nonviolence. Well, how do you observe that? Well, you can read up on Gandhi. Or you can just do a random act of kindness. If you're somebody who's usually violent, don't be violent. Be nice. Uh, solve a conflict. If people are arguing, think you think they might get violent, be nice to them. Just be nonviolent to everybody today. Let's see. National Name Your Car Day. You haven't named your car? Well, go out there and name your car. Talk to it. If you already named it, go talk to it. And anyways, and uh, some people just call their car, "Hey girl," you know, or a uh, "Baby girl" in some cases, or you know, whatever. Just to go take a ride in your car and talk to him or her, or whatever you want to call your vehicle. In a, but they say that naming your, your car can make you feel safer. Now, I don't know if it's just because you named it and you're talking to it or whatever. But but also naming our cars can make them seem human. So if something happens, like you wreck the car or something, then you're more heartbroken. Your car's messed up. But uh, it also, naming our cars can make them seem more intelligent. But, uh, also, it seems, uh, I don't know, run a little bit better if you're talking to your car. So, why don't you try that today? National Custodian Day. You usually walk by your custodian at your job or school. Be nice. Say hi to your custodian. If you don't know their name, ask them their name. And also, go, when you're, when you go home today clean your house it's National custodian day that's what custodians do they clean clean your house and uh help the custodian if you want you know if you pick up a piece of trash and throw it away so the custodian don't have to do it it's a it's more often a thankless job and if the custodian sees you that doing it then They'll actually be appreciated and they might actually even clean a little bit better. And uh, it'll, it might help them uh, to even clean more stuff than they normally would be able to. And also, if you help about, help out, you'll actually notice more things like, hey, there's usually trash in this spot every day. I'm just going to pick it up every day. But be nice to your study and like I said, find out their name, say hi. They'll appreciate that. Also, we're gonna look at a couple other things today. Today in history. Okay, uh, let's see not twelve sixty three at Largs, King Alexander the Third of Scotland repels an amphibious invasion by King Hakon. The fourth of Norway. And then uh, 1535, having landed in Quebec a month ago, Jacques Cartier reaches a town which he names Montreal. And then 1862, an army under Union General Joseph Hooker arrives in Bridgeport, Alabama to support the Union forces at Chattanooga. Chattanooga's Lookout Mountain provides a dramatic setting for the Civil War's Battle Above the Clouds. 1870, the Papal States vote in favor of union with Italy. The capitals moved from Florence to Rome. In 1879, a dual alliance was between Austria and Germany, in which the two countries agreed to come to the other's aid in the event of aggression. Also, this is interesting. 1909, overwrite 
sets an altitude record flying at 1,600 feet. This exceeded Hubert Latham's previous record of 508. Oh, tripled. Well, almost tripled. In the, uh, 1941, the German Army launches Operation Typhoon to drive towards Moscow. Now, this is interesting. 1950, the comic strip Peanuts by Charles M. Schultz makes its first appearance in newspapers. And also, 1959, the groundbreaking TV series The Twilight Zone, hosted by Rod Sterling, premieres on CBS. And in 1964, scientists announced findings that smoking can cause cancer. And in 1970, a plane carrying the Wichita State University football team staff and supporters crashes in Colorado. 31 of the 40 people aboard die. And then, let's see... 2001, NATO backs U.S. military strikes in the wake of September 11th terrorist attacks. Born on October 2nd. Let's see. Mahatma Mohandas Gandhi, political leader of India and a pioneer of nonviolent activism, is born in 1869. The 1871 line, Wallace Stevens, the poet. 1871, Cordell Hull, Secretary of State for President Franklin Roosevelt. 1900, William A. Budd, Abbott, comedian, the straight man to Lou Costello. Uh, let's see. Rex Reed was born in 1938. He's an actor and film critic. Co host of the At the Movies TV show. Don McLean, singer, songwriter, guitarist, best known for American Pie. His tribute to Buddy Holly in Early Rock and Roll, 1945. In 1970, Kelly Ripa, actress, producer, co host of Live with Kelly and Michael TV show, TV talk show. In 1951, Sting, singer, songwriter, musician, actor, lead singer, and bass player for the band The Police before launching a successful solo career. All right, there you go for October 2nd. Y'all have a good day.